Hello everyone, that's you in to today's video game to weekend forecast today, having a detailed look at the weather for the coming week across the British Isles. And we've got a really active week's weather coming up. It's all going to be happening this week. It's going to be heavy rain, there's going to be gales, severe gales uh, around the middle of the week, possibly storm force winds. There's also going to be a risk of some snow at times as well. Hail and thunder. Uh, it's just about everything and the uh, kitchen sink included. So loads going on. I'm just going to whiz through the uh, advertising. There's uh, links to articles on most pages of the article. There's going to have a browse through widgets. If there's any articles that you're interested in, please click through and you'll be able to go off and read those articles. You'll be able to support gaswebbies.com when you do that. The website that we're using for the uh, video or websites, we've got the radar pitch and some charts at the end from the weather at .com. And also charts where to drop down. You find a link to both those websites on each page. So we better get on with it because huge amounts happening uh, this week. Now, we've had an exceptionally mild night across many parts of England and Wales last night with temperatures holding up around 12, 13, 14 degrees sort of minimum temperatures you would expect in the middle of summer rather than the middle of winter. That is on its way out now and it's this area of very sporadic looking uh, rain just here down in the southeast. It's quite intense very briefly but it's pretty sporadic and showery. It's a cold front it's coming down in the southeast clearing away all of those high temperatures. Behind that it turns cold as the name implies and as we get up towards Scotland We've got lots of heavy showers, and if I uh, show you the precipitation type, you can see that uh, those showers are turning readily to snow across northern and central parts of Scotland, coming down into Northern Ireland as well. So there's a mix of rain, sleet and snow and hail with thunder and lightning as well in those showers across Scotland, uh, following along uh, behind this uh, weak uh, but quite intense cold front. So here's today's toxic pressure chart, and the cold front is clearing away from the southeast, and behind it turns cold with this strong uh, north Northwesterly wind. So we're going to see that band of crown and very sporadic rain, uh, but intense very briefly down in the far southeast of the country uh, early on this afternoon. We'll be clearing away. I mean, it brightens up behind it, but we bring in a strong northwesterly wind with sunshine and showers. And most showers, as we've already seen, turn readily to sleet or snow across parts of Scotland. And I think we'll find turning increasingly to uh, sleet and snow actually across Scotland through the course of uh, this afternoon and into the ceiling as colder and colder air begins to dig in. Temperatures are still hovering around 13 or 14 degrees in the very, very far southeast, still clinging on to those high temperatures right now, and I'm doing the video at just past midday. But those uh, high temperatures will be... Uh, exiting the country through the course of this afternoon as it turns cooler. So finishing up in the south at around 7 or 8 and in the north we're just going to be at 2 or 3 degrees and feeling really quite cold indeed across parts of Scotland in that strong gusting northwesterly wind. Overnight tonight, we keep that northwesterly wind going. So, temperature should hold up just a degree or two above freeze. It's going to be quite a cold night, but we should prevent uh, a proper frost, I think. Although there could be pockets of ground frost, particularly down in the south and southeast, where we're a little bit sheltered from that wind. But overall, too much breeze really uh, for frost. But we'll keep wintry showers going in the north, and those turn increasingly to snow across Scotland and North Rhine. A wintry shower coming into northwest England, parts of North Wales as well. I say temperatures around a degree or two above freezing for most places but could dip just a little bit uh, the other side of freezing and if that was to happen of course with uh, water on the paths and uh, roads there could be um, some icy patches so do be aware if you're off out tonight or early tomorrow morning that there could be icy patches uh, around but generally we should just about hold up above freezing with the wind. As we go through into sunny and next, uh, the next weather system is coming in off the Atlantic so uh, we'll start sunny with wintry showers across parts of Scotland and North Northern Ireland and Northern England. Most of those will be snow first beam, but they'll turn more towards rain uh, through the course of the afternoon. As actually they start to band together and a band of rain will move in uh, across western Scotland and Northern Ireland into uh, the rest of Scotland and Northern England through the course of Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Could be preceded by snow over high ground across the Pennines and the Scottish Mountains, but it should turn back towards rain. Uh, many parts of England and Wales actually having a dry and fine day on Sunday with a fair amount of sunshine. Uh, it's going to be chilly, temperatures just 5 or 6 degrees. Uh, for most of us, well, bench, uh, parts of Ireland, west of Scotland, we'll see those temperatures getting up to around 7 or 8 degrees. So, eventually turning milder up in west, but generally quite a cool this sort of day. Um, things deteriorate as we go through into money. This very deep area of uh, low pressure around Iceland is the driver. We've got a weather system here across England and Wales that'll be sort of strung out with ripples running along it. So, we expect quite a wet day for England and Wales on Monday with outbreaks of persistent and heavy rain. For uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England, uh, after probably a wet start, we're going to
to bring in much colder air uh, again. So this strong westerly wind is feeding in cold air from Greenland, and that's going to see uh, showers, and there will be showers uh, following into the north on Monday afternoon. We'll see those showers turning increasingly wintry again for Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England. Could be some significant snow over the high ground of Scotland by the end of Monday. So temperatures in the south with the cloud and rain around 7 or 8 degrees, possibly up to 10 along the south coast, 50 Fahrenheit, uh, but in the north we're just at 1, 2 or 3 degrees. Feeling very cold in the north in that strong to gale force, uh, north, uh, northwesterly to westerly wind. Now, a little bit of a complication to go through into Tuesday. We've got uh, this cold air feeding in across the country. We'll get rid of the rain uh, across England and Wales overnight Monday into Tuesday. And then we're feeding in this cold air on Tuesday. Now, we could run a little trough in uh, across the south. We're watching out for that. For Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, North Wales, we're probably looking at a day of sunshine and snow showers on Tuesday. Some of those showers could give significant snow uh, to the high ground of Scotland. For the rest of England and Wales, it really is southern Wales, the Midlands, East Anglia, and then central southern England we're probably going to bring in some sort of a band of cloud and rain uh, across the south through the course of Tuesday now on the northern edge of that it could engage the cold air and possibly give some sleet or snow, I'm very uncertain about this but don't be surprised if there is some snow through parts of Wales, the Midlands possibly Lincolnshire and East Anglia on Tuesday uh, afternoon, I don't think it will amount to too much but it will be there and it could be uh, give a covering over high ground in particular. I've got to firm up on it to see whether this actually comes off. Now further south it's going to be rain so in the south you won't have to worry uh, about snow on uh, Tuesday. It's really for the Midlands and Wales that we've got to watch out. And really the same sort of areas that got that little surprise snow event on Boxing Day. Um, those sort of areas we've got to be watching out for some snow uh, potentially on Tuesday. Temperatures in the south could be up to around 6-7 degrees but through uh, the Midlands and then up into Northern England and Scotland uh, we're just going to be at 2 or three degrees once again so a cold day feeling very cold uh, in that strong westerly wind and then all eyes are going to be on the uh, storm uh, system that may come in as we move through into Wednesday um, this view of low pressure in the central Atlantic on Tuesday doesn't look like much as we go through into Wednesday that's uh, sweeping in across the country a lot of uncertainty with the track of this and just how deep it's going to get the uh, latest one that I'm using for this video the 6 o'clock run of the GFS isn't deepening this low pressure too much um, but still some of the models are suggesting a very deep storm comes in uh, on Wednesday so we're probably looking at a cold start on Wednesday morning with a fairly widespread frost, could be some ice around as well, still the risk of some uh, wintry showers or some snow showers in the north and the east of the country uh, and then cloud, wind and rain sweeps in off the Atlantic um, and it's difficult to say how strong those winds get but certainly up to gale force uh, across many parts of the country could be up to severe gale or storm force in some specific areas and actually nailing down where those specific areas are is going to be difficult. Um, so we'll know more a bit nearer the time but certainly late Wednesday into Wednesday night, Thursday morning there's a uh, risk of some disruptive weather with heavy rain and severe gales sweeping in off the Atlantic. Temperatures after a cold start will recover to about 7 or 8 degrees in the north, uh, in the south rather but in the north it'll stay rather chilly. If I just show you the parallel run that does deepen the low pressure more. This is the parallel GFS. And uh, yeah, we've got a deep storm heading into uh, Ireland uh, at midday on Wednesday. And uh, that comes a very significant feature into Wednesday evening, um, bringing the risk of damaging storm force winds on this particular run. Uh, the trap takes the worst of those winds across northern England. Uh, but the area of uh, uh, concern that could get those storm force winds is still to be determined. And of course, the parallel may be deepening this low pressure too much so let's wait and see how it goes on that one uh, we'll know more a little bit later uh, in the week but uh, certainly very uh, potentially some very uh, disruptive weather Wednesday into Thursday and then Thursday itself we'll find that low pressure exiting into uh, the uh, North Sea leaving us in a run of showery and increasingly cold uh, northwesterly winds so perhaps a battering from gales and heavy rain first thing on Thursday morning that clears away I and mean, then it's back to sunshine and showers uh, the showers turning in increasingly wintry across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Temperatures uh, could be reasonably uh, mild in the south to start off with at around 7 or 8 but probably dropping through the day and cold up in the north. We get through into Friday and we're between uh, low pressure to the east and high pressure to the west so the wind is going northerly 
bring down colder air. Probably find a band of wintry showers moving across the country. That's uh, going to be on a weather front. And behind that, the air could turn really quite cold. So any showers could turn uh, readily to snow across Scotland through the course of Friday. It'll be a cold day with temperatures in the south at just 5 degrees in the north, probably barely above freezing. And as we go through into next weekend, we're on a cold note here with northerly winds coming down across the country. So it'll be frosty at night. Sunny by day, but there will be snow showers around, and temperatures going to be very cold, really. Quite a cold snap indeed next weekend, uh, potentially just 2 or 3 degrees at best. As this high pressure topples in later in the weekend, will cut off that northerly, probably, um, and get rid of the risk of snow showers, but there could be some really hard frost uh, later on next weekend. So a bit of a cold snap coming up uh, this time next week. If I have a look at the charts from the weather outlook to see the weather in your area, um, I've got that band of rain moving south across England and Wales through the course of this afternoon, clearing away now, and then wintry showers falling behind, and the temperatures will be dropping as we go through into Sunday. Rain coming into the north and west, but mainly dry down in the south and southeast, generally quite cold. Uh, wet across England and Wales through the course of Monday, brighter but colder with wintry showers to increasingly to snow in the north. And then as we go through into uh, Tuesday, we've got to watch out for an area of rain coming across England and Wales. It could engage the cold air and turn to snow through parts of the Midlands and Wales, possibly Lincolnshire and East Anglia as well. So let's see how that one plays out. Further north, it's cold with snow showers. And then it all rise through Wednesday and into Thursday on the storm system, but may come in and batter the country later on Wednesday, giving risk of some heavy rain, possibly some heavy snow to the far north on the northern side of that low pressure, and severe gales or storm force winds could batter the country as well. It is uncertain but it needs keeping an eye on it could be quite a disruptive spell uh, going through to the middle of the week and then finally as we head through into the latter part of the week the uh, severe gales and heavy rain will clear away to the east with back sunshine and showers through Thursday and into Friday and it turns increasingly cold as we get through into the end of the week um, with northerly winds showers turning to snow and uh, I won't be at all surprised to see some very significant frost as we go through into next weekend as well so huge amounts going on this week hope you've been able to follow it all uh, the basic story is, is that it's going to be another very unsettled week uh, and generally colder than it has been on uh, through most of January so far it's going to be a colder week with some wintry potential particularly in the north but there may be a little bit further south as well uh, all eyes on the storm uh, midweek and then after that rope in the floodgates to a northerly wind uh, which could bring a bit of a bite of winter by next weekend. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.